Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. And as promised, we're going to show off some Edward Thatching Blackbeard gameplay. So buzzing for this, going to get a first little look at the hero, see what he can do, see what his abilities are, and we'll go into it. Apologies for the way I look. I have no idea what happened to my eye overnight, but I kind of look a little bit like Sid the Sloth from Ice Age. So apologies for that, but just pretend it's him presenting the video in a funny little voice, and it'll probably make it more enjoyable. So we're going to go through his abilities, and then we're going to take him into a bit of gameplay, just see how he helps and supports the team, because he is a new legendary support. So right, let's go into the hero. First downfall of the hero is he has no 5-star armor. So hopefully with the new update that they're bringing out um, in a couple of weeks, uh, uh, 2.9, hopefully there'll be some gear in there for him because I know it is an update that's got some gear in it. Um, he's not got any special uh t5 weapon apart from the same one that uh, Ezio can use not Ezio Altair so again not great and then just the power so as far as t5 gear goes he's very very lacking so that's one disappointment of the hero so far but if we have a little look at his skills so he's got the taunt ability which increases an enemy's missed chance by 25 percent but also it's attacked by 25 percent so yeah, more chance to miss and take less damage, but then if you do get hit, you're going to take more damage. And that's the only con about this. I'm not a big fan of the um, the taunt um, ability. He's got Wild Slash, so strikes an enemy for 80% damage. Critical chance is increased by 5% with each use until the end of combat. So the thing is, this does have a 5 charge recharge time. So you're going to have to be in a fight for quite a long time to actually benefit this the most. So, not again, not the best ability because you don't want to be in a fight for that long. Um, he's got this as well. So, Terrifying Presence grants target initiative in combat for one room and he only has one charge of that. So, no matter how many enemies are in that room, you will be granted initiative against all of them. So, that's not a bad ability if there's obviously a stacked room. But... It's not the best, to be honest with you. He's got here as well, Brace of Pistols, makes an instant range attack at 130% attack. This does give you initiative as well. Um, doesn't say it, but it does. Um, just like uh, Edward Kenway's pistols. So nice bit of damage before you get in there and gives you initiative to get the next attack in. He's a passive ability, he's nothing really. It's just your standard health and attack are permanently increased. But this is the one that's quite cool. So Broadside Barrage fires a volley of cannon shots at the selected room dealing 65% attack power to each enemy within. So it hits basically every enemy in that room. So I do promise you that when I get him 5 starred, I will take him into Story 28 and absolutely barrage the hell out of Tornado's room. So you've got that as a promise. Um... If you go to if I go to the details, we'll see how that scales up. So this ability here, you, it gives you more charges. So that's quite nice. So it's actually free charges. So it will support that does a hundred percent attack power, which is quite nice. Uh, get two charges, just the attack goes up on that one, and obviously the damage gets a little bit higher. And plus, you can apply it more times. But as I said, the five tick reach time so you're gonna to have to be in a fight a hell of a long time for that to happen so right let's take him into um we'll take him into region two because the good thing is is if this is people's like third or fourth helix rift event you're gonna have this hero basically at this level and it'll be nice to see how useful he is at this level going through this content so let's go through here we'll take teresa in because she'll she'll do a bit uh, let's just go to edit team so I can heal them up. Just zoom to him so he's healed. Right, confirm that and let's go in and let's test his abilities and see how he actually does get on. Right, so this is loading up and as soon as we're in, right, here we go. So we'll go into a bit of a fight to start off with. So we'll get the bullets off, bang. Not a bad little bit of damage there. Get the quick strike in. We'll use the taunt. He's missed, which is nice. And there he goes. So it worked to our advantage that time. He missed. That was quite a nice little touch. Right, let's use Edward to get up here. 
And let's just zip line up here so we can get bypass these. Get up here. Nice to see the two heroes from the event working side by side. Getting in here, doing bits together. Which is quite nice. Right, there you go. His ability done that. Got a potion out of that. It's not all sad. Right, so here we go. Let's barrage this. So if we click on him, click the barrage, and boom. Right. So obviously the, the damage numbers weren't the best there, but it's still taken a nice little, if that moves out of the way, a nice little chunk of his health away. Uh, it's not letting me, it's disappearing now. Really annoys me. You should be able to see the health of the enemy. So what we'll do is we'll give Teresa initiative here, select her, go down here and then just show off what this does. Right, well he's not looking our way, but we would have got initiative anyway. So we get initiative against him because it's for one room, boom, done. So at this level, you only get one charge of that. So his support abilities now are basically useless. He's not really supporting anybody now. I've used both abilities on that room and he's done. That's him done now. So yeah, as far as supporting goes, until you get him to a higher star level, he isn't really that, that much of a support really, to be honest with you. I kind of find him a little... That last time, that was a nice little crit. That weren't bad. Let's take her in here. Let's go through. She's going to annihilate him. And that's all she wrote. But yeah, it's just, it's it's a bit strange. For me, for a support hero, he definitely needs a little bit more utility. He does, he, apart from a barrage and giving someone initiative in a room all right for free charges once you get them to five stars so that's three separate rooms you can go in you're guaranteed initiative that's a nice little um ability but overall apart from the barrage he doesn't really support much he could have he could have been a different class of hero and still had the barrage ability if that's what they were going for with the hero that would have been a better way of possibly getting him into it but i am a little disappointed with him at the moment i must admit because he doesn't really support um there's obviously only two support heroes in the legendary class before he came along but as i said we've out let's have a look at the barrage you get more than one barrage at, um uh, you see you only get one of them and that's just it's just not really that supportive apart from this ability here which gives you initiative doesn't really support in any other way he's he hasn't got any passive abilities that support the team um it just improves him so as far as the support hero goes i'm not sold on that i am looking forward to getting him rank five and absolutely berating the hell out of um tour maiders room that'll be quite fun but apart from that, as I said, a little bit disappointing. Doesn't have really much T5 gear at the minute. You can't put T5 armor on him. So, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that's all she wrote, really. So, I'll have to see what he's like at five star. But at the minute, he's got a cool little gimmick. But overall, doesn't support nowhere near as much as he should do in the game. For being someone who is actual support hero. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed this early gameplay. Take care.